Stampers, Deb Velder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach. Today I'm going to show you how to do one of our borders. This is a brand new border right here that is found in our Bloom This Way catalog. It is um, a new mini catalog for the um, January to March 2016, and um, it is just filled with absolutely gorgeous items. And one of those items happens to be our Border Basics, found on page 17. It is amazing. So let me just show you. I'll show you these cards afterwards. This is actually um, my calendar class, and um, this is the one we did for April, and we used that same little ATS. This is just um, the ATS called a Rose Garden, and it's just a one single stamp. And then I also did it on this card, and instead of cutting out the oval with the perforations, I used just the perforations. So you can use those oval frame um, in any way that you want to, but um, I just love outlining a, a little picture. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be using this, um, this one right here to show you the uh, sample. So now what I'm going to start with is um, I went and I actually took out and my ovals and um, just punch them out and then I punched out the white one right here so I pre-did those for you just um, to save a little bit of time so now what I'm gonna do is take off these ovals that's the one I'm gonna stamp on I'm gonna grab my um, bloom tool and I'm gonna change the edge the end of it to my little spatula and I'm gonna need to go grab that so here's my spatula and I'm just gonna push this little piece down right here. I'm going to look for the little um, indentations and that's going to go right where this little ball bearing is. So I need to have a little bit hanging out because what I'm going to do is just lift this under here and that takes off my perforations. My, my, I take off my thin die with um, out any problems. You see it doesn't stick then. Alright, so I'm done with my bloom tool. Let's stamp our image. Remember we're using our grid blocks um, this one doesn't happen to have an index on it because it's one of the first ones that I got. And I just like to um, explain our little um, our blocks to you. They all have a little flower in one of the corners. I always use that as my um, upper piece and then the letter on the bottom. So on the right hand side you have the flower and you have the letter. And if I was going to stamp it this way, that's the way the image would go. So anybody would know that if the flower was up on top you were stamping it the correct way. If you turn this, okay, this is the way I use it up and down. My two images are on the top. The flower will be on the left, the letter will be on the right. It's just a quirky little thing that I do, but then you always know if you're stamping upside down or right side up. So now I'm going to take my Black Fusion ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp. And um, the ink is absolutely amazing. Remember, it's craft ink and um, dye-based ink um, together, so they um, stamp absolutely beautifully. I was chatting with a gal today online, and um, or on the phone, and um, we were talking about how amazing um, our ink is. So there's our image right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to let it dry while we go over and cut out. It does dry in, in probably three seconds, but I'm just going to go over and show you how to use our um, new border punch, or border die. Okay, so let's go. So I'm at my Journey Platinum machine. It's a great machine. It has um, an eight and a half inch uh, wide platform. Um, good for our larger dies. Um, it, it works with the thin metal dies. It works um, to emboss our cut shapes and I'll show you that later on but you can have one of the thin metal dies and actually emboss with it. Way cool. Um, we also have a sandwich um, for the um, embossing folders and it does do the steel rule dies also. So let me just show you what I have here. This is one of our, um, this is one of the basic border dies. Okay, this one happens to be the chevron border die. And um, when I ran it through, um, you take and you put it through the um, the little slot right here. And you can take, and when you're done, you just have um, this great little border. Um, this right here, you can also use these pieces as well. Um, and these are just little chevrons. Uh, you can also use this little piece right here. So there's a lot of different uses for um, these. Let me just show you again what I have here. Um, these are the dies. Um, you can use, like I said, this one right here is uh, the, this one um, with the fancy border on here. This one is just like this one without the little scallops. Um, and like I said, you can use them as just a regular border. Uh, put this on your card and, um, you know, just use it as like an end border like that. 
um, which makes it look really, really cool. So these things are very versatile. Having that little slot in there makes all the difference in the world. While I'm showing you some of the um, borders, uh, I wanted to show you another set that we have in the, the new Bloom catalog, and that is this set right here. Um, it is called Border Details, and um, it just has some amazing um, sets in here. So um, this one right here is the grass, what I call the grass one. We have a chevron one. We have a very beautiful, delicate one. This one is just kind of a vine type thing. And then we have um, the stars, which matches a lot of our other dyes. So these are two of the border sets that are in the um, Bloom catalog. And um, they're just great, great, great. So let me show you how I used this uh, die right here. Let me just grab it. This is the one with the... Um, with the little perforations in it, and you know how much I love the perforations. And remember what I said, the little perforations you can actually use um, to make a border, and that's why they're perforated up there, or you can use it just as I'm gonna show you right now. So we're just gonna cut off the end of this little um, piece of cardstock right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up from side to side, just like that. Remember, here's the magnetic side. This is the side that's not magnetic, and there's a purpose for that. Um, but for right now, we want to use the magnetic side. So I just lined it up from side to side. You can push it in as far or out as you want. And I'm just going to use um, just a little bit of a border right here. And we're just going to take the top on and run it through. Now you're going to hear a snap. That is normal uh, when you're running your things through. It just is cutting and running over that little piece right there. So I'm just going to run it through. You're going to hear that little snap or large snap. And then I'm going to run it back. Okay. So when we take this off, we have this amazing little border. So it, it not only cut, it also perforated it. Isn't that absolutely adorable? So let me get back to the card and I'll show you how I finished it up. The Journey Platinum, a great machine. It's eight and a half by 11 and you can do all of our big dies on it. Great machine. Oh, before I go, I wanted to show you one more thing. If you have, and you can use this, you can do this with any machine, but sometimes your plastic pieces get a little bit of a bow in them or sometimes they get a lot of a bow in them. So what you wanna do at night before you go to bed when you're all packed up, you wanna take the two machine, or the two um, platforms, put them so that the bow, you can see the bow, you want the bow in the middle. Um, and then what you're gonna do is take your platform, put it over the top, and then just run it through halfway, and for the night, it will stay nice and flat. And when you wake up in the morning, your platforms or your, your plates are nice and flat again. I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Um, let's get back to our card and we'll get it finished up. We're back at my journey table and we're going to start to color. Here's my card. Let's keep that in the picture. There's my card. Here's my, uh, my little border uh, frame or my border frame and I'm going to take and start to color. So right here I'm going to take some bubble gum and I'm going to take one of, you can color with anything. You can even take Q-tips and cover this. I just like using these because I just use a little circle to color and I do the same thing so that was my bubble gum I'm gonna take some lemongrass which is what my card on the inside is gonna be and just take one of these and do just some very fast uh, I'm just kinda of doing little tiny circles here and um, we will be done alright so there's our coloring that's how fast this card is super super fast okay let's do this together we're gonna to do that with our easy glide and like I said we're almost done Throw that on here, and then that'll be ready for there. Now, um, I'm going to leave this one blank because I have somebody special that I want to send this to, and um, it's going to have a special sentiment on it. So I'm going to leave this one blank, but um, what I'm going to do now is to show you how to take off the... Um, the little border. Now there's nothing to it. You can actually just pop it right off. But I, what I like to do is to just take my little um, my little journey spatula, just like I did with my circles, and look at that. You have all of these little perforations. That is done with this little border right here, and it's called Border Basics. So now what we're going to do is put our card together. So I'm going to take and use um, our little foam squares for this, and I'm going to use just... Um, I think I'll use two medium-sized ones to put this one on. So one goes here and one goes here. Pop it right off. Remember, these are only $2.95. You cannot beat it. 
um, you can just um, order them on your next order and you're good to go. I'm going to take and um, put this off to the side just a little bit because I'm going to take some of our bubblegum thread and wrap it around. And I just love doing this because it gives it some, uh, some texture to it. Okay, so we're going to take this, cut it off with my beautiful scissors, and just tie a, a, a bow. Okay, and let's see. There we go. Alrighty. You can take and just take and uh, knot it first so it doesn't go anywhere and you've got it nice and tight. And then what we'll do is just add our, <clears throat> excuse me, add our bow to it. And the next thing that I'm going to do is add my inside and then we will bling it up. Okay, I'll, I'll play with this after we get off camera, but um, for right now, that's good enough. Alrighty, so, so far so good. We're going to take our lemongrass paper on the inside and um, let's see, we'll just take, this is our Easy Glide adhesive, absolutely wonderful adhesive, and add that to the middle. And the next thing that we are going to do, remember our little saying is going to go right down there. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take and add some of, in our mini catalog, we have these things called raindrop, rainbow drops. And there are, I think there's over 700 in here. You can use them and use them and still have some left over. They come in this little case. Um, you just unlock it like this so they don't spill all over. They are not self-adhesive, but let me show you how I add these to my cards. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one to each little um, piece right here because I have so many of them um, that that's, I mean, it's, it's nothing to add that many. You're still going to have a whole lot left over. I'm going to take this amazing Journeycraft glue and just put a little dot on each one of them. So there's my first dot. Here's my second dot. I love this glue. I absolutely love it. And I'm just finishing up my card. You see how fast this is? There we go. All right, put the top on. It'll be ready for the next time. Now, I like to leave my journey glue um, right side up. This side you can also use, um, but if you leave it just in my bag, like I just put it in my bag this way up, it's ready to go. If by chance you lay it this way or this way, all you have to do is just kind of flick it. It goes all the way to the end, and it pops out as fast as it did right there. All right, now to take my little guys right here, I'm going to grab my bloom tool once again. I'm going to take, I like to use my... Um, well, actually, I don't even need my bloom tool for this one because all I'm going to do is just lay them on here just like this. So I'm going to take this one and just lay it right on there. And I'm going to do that all the way down. It is amazing. Aren't they pretty? They're just so pretty. And I have a very special person that I'm going to give this to. So if you're that special person and you get it in the mail, you are going to know that I was talking about you on my video. If you're not going to get this in the mail, you're still special to me. Um, see how fast this is? And um, if you don't want to, if you don't want to use that many on one card, you can just pick it every other one. You can, you can do just about anything that you want. But these are absolutely gorgeous. They have like this crystal look, like a kind of like a rhinestone. Um, it's just beautiful, and the colors are gorgeous. And you have so many of them, so you don't feel like you're you're going to run out right away. So that's my card. Now I'm going to do one other thing that I didn't do. Oh, actually, i got a couple more things I'm going to do. Hold on. Here we go. So on this one, I actually added um, some glitter. So I just took my journey glue, my, uh, my craft glue here, and I just did some little circles in here. I didn't color the whole thing in. I just did some circles because this is so detailed you can do that. I sprinkled some glitter on, and there we go. For this one, I'm going to use my bubble gums. Um, this is my bubblegum silk, and you want to make sure that you just um, shake it up a little bit. And um, what I'm going to do next is to open it. And there's a lot of things you can do with this silk. It's just bright and silky, and um, it's just absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to take and open this up, because I want it nice and flat. And I'm just going to take and sprinkle some little dots all over it some little splatters, and they're sparkly, which is really kind of nice. Okay, so we're going to let that dry, and that's our card. So I hope you enjoyed my post for today. Um, hop on over to my blog for all the details. If you have any questions, you know where to get me, and have a great day. Take care. <music>